Hello fellow crafters. I wanted to share with you, um, I've been in a swap with Jaded Studios on Facebook. She's also Jaded Studios on um, YouTube. That's originally where it all started. Um, she decided to do a Secret Squirrel cigar box swap. And the idea to this was to take a cigar box, decorate it, fill it with some goodies, and send it to your Secret Squirrel. Um, I have been, um, they, a lot of ladies are using different boxes now. It's, it's getting to where um, everybody's being more creative, which is cool. But I just wanted to share with you that um, most of my boxes are cigar boxes. And I wanted to share with you how I construct these boxes. Um, it is a lot of work. Some of the boxes I will take the paper off of. Some of the boxes will look like this, okay? There's a liquor store here in Texas that sells cigars, and when um, he sells all his cigars, he puts them up for sale, and they're like $3 a box. They're pretty cheap, and they are um, wood. What I do is, is um, I'll take a razor, and I'll just start peeling and taking the paper off, see? And by the time I get done taking the paper off, um, the lid is only held on with paper, okay? So by the time I get to the lid, I'm having to cut it off and I add hinges, okay? The hinges I, I pick up at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you could pick it up anywhere, any of your hardware stores or whatever. This is almost like a piano hinge. It's a little longer. Um, if it's a bigger box, I'll put a hinge on each side. But this box, all it needs is this one. I'll take a Dremel and I'll, I'll drill, the, I'll put this on there first and then I'll mark my holes and then I'll drill the holes and then I add this piece. Um, if I get enough of the paper off, I'll paint it. This one I painted, okay? Um, if I can't get all the paper off and it doesn't look smooth enough, then I will add paper, okay? And the way I get this paper on here is with Mod Podge. I will take the Mod Podge and put it all over the lid and then put the paper on top. And then I'll take one of these brayers, I think that's what they call it, and I'll push down real hard to get all the loose uh, extra Mod Podge out. Um, I'm not done with this box. I still need to decorate this side. But this side is pretty much done. I am going to be adding this little... Um, um, Tim Holtz thing and it says darling. This is the Graphic 45 uh, Lee Romantic paper line and I fussy cutted these two ladies out. Um, this right here behind this, this is a tag that I received from my friend Janice. Thank you Janice. Um, and all I did was just cut it out and put it on here. Behind it though is some fabric that I received from um, my friend Elise this fabric here. Sorry. Um, I put that, I sprayed it with some um, Tattered Angel sprays that I have. I think I used a charcoal on it. It's got like a blue-gray to it. And I just added some trim around it to frame it. I think I might add another flower up here. Um, there's these little sprays that I got in a swap here. And then I made this flower with the paper with the Tim Holtz dye. But this is going to be my lid, and it will go on the box like this. And you want to keep trying to make sure, as you're doing, you're constructing your box, you want to put your lid on here every once in a while to make sure it's still going to fit. Because once you start putting glue and mod podging and everything, it's going to start, it's going to swell a little bit. And if that happens, all you want to do is just take your edges with some sandpaper and sand them down. I do, when I do use the paper, Mod Podge paper on the boxes, I do um, make sure I get the paper off all the edges because that way I can sand them down if I need to by the time I get to the point of putting it back on. I also use, to finish off the edges, um, I'll use the dabbers. It's a lot quicker and I'll pick a color that I like that matches the paper and I'll just color them in. Another thing I've done in the past, um, I Heather, 
um, I can't think of her uh, YouTube name. She doesn't do a whole lot of videos. But I use the um, Pink Paisley Butterfly paper on her box. I, I have a video of it if you'd like to go check it out. But what I did with her box is I used this uh, Tim Holtz tape and I, I put it over the edges. You, you want to put a little bit of glue on the edge when you, when you put it down because this isn't really a very good stick. Um, it'll stick along here. I've noticed that if it pu puckers out a little bit on the edge here, I'll just run uh, my glue along the edge. And the glue that I use is this um, zip dry paper glue because it's wrinkle free and it dries clear. And it's acid free as well. Because if you're going to be putting any scrapbook paper in the inside, you want this to be, or scrapbook pictures or whatever memorabilia in here, you want to use something that's acid free. This one here that I'm constructing, like I said, this is the Graphic 45 uh, Le Romantic. I think that's how you say it. I can't remember. Um, and this paper here is, um, I got that at Hobby Lobby. I do know, let me look here real quick. It is by Lost and Found by Jen Allison. It's a really pretty paper line. I used, um, the paper line for um, my very first box for Amy and um, I used the pink the pink one with the flowers well anyways this one here um, this is the back side of this paper so I put the back side on here it's kind of a gray blue and I mod podged it to give it a nice um, s smooth surface but I'm going to probably take some of the Arendac ink, the permanent inks, and I might I did, might do some stamping on here, or I might even Mod Podge some more, um, a few more things on the bottom, I haven't decided yet. But it says postcard, and I don't know, maybe she can put pictures in here, this is for a special friend, um, she can keep safe some pictures in here, special pictures from, from a trip, or whatever, or she can uh, put po postcards in here, or letters, you know, because, you know, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be finishing off the edges with the ink. And then I'm gonna, i got to um, mark my holes to put a lid on it. I mean a, um, a hinge on it. And in fact my hinge is gold so I'm probably going to have to um, color it. I color it with the um, Tim Holtz alcohol inks. And that's how I'll get my silver. Because I haven't really found any that are silver. If you do please let me know. The other box that I constructed for a special friend is this one. This is done with the Graphic 45 paper as well. I think it's called the Domestic Goddess. Um, some of the bling I, I need to glue. I need to re-glue this. Uh, not re-glue it. I didn't even glue it in the first place. But some, a lot of times this bling doesn't stick. So I'll put some extra glue behind it to make it stick. Um, what I've done with this one is I've taken some polka dotted paper and distressed the edges and inked them with some tea dye. This, I think this uh, clock is from Bow Bunny paper, and I cut it out, and, and I took some Tim Holtz, um, Tim Holtz uh, clock gears and put them on here. This is a Tim Holtz gear as well. I just fussy cutted the paper and put it around the clock, there, and there's, I have a, a, a package of stickers that go with the paper line, and I tried to incorporate that with it, um, like this little one here, it says number 45 vintage and these little cherries. This was part of the paper here. Um, it just says biggest value ever offered. This one here, um, these flowers are, are the Tim Holtz um, die cut and this is the paper, paper line um, that I used and I just cut a um, couple of them out and put them on here. This is, uh, these two flowers here are from my friend Elise. She's Leesley46 on YouTube. Looks like I need to put a little bit more glue behind that one. Um, this is a wild orchid. Oh, I'll tell you what. This is all I have in these in the wild orchid flowers, and I'm getting low, and I love them so much. Can't wait to order some more. This is a, a, a flower that I received from Twins Mom's um, Etsy store, and it's it's a really really pretty brown. Um, and then the rest is just the fussy cutting paper, some bling, and flowers. And then over here in this corner here. I used some trim that I purchased at um, Hobby Lobby 
and I, I get it in white and just color it myself so it matches whatever I'm working on. This is some very, very old vintage lace that I have. Let me show that to you. I've shared a lot of it with some of the swaps I've been in, um, but this is about all I have left, so I just use little bits at a time with it. And then I put a key on here and I took some seam binding and colored it the blue, uh, a pretty blue to match the flowers. And um, just put the domestic goddess um, that was on the paper on there. Along the edges I did um, this really cute fussy little trim. Underneath though I did um, the Martha Stewart punch. I punched out some black paper and glued it down all the way around the box. Because I couldn't decide what I was going to do but at least um, I did leave the paper on the bottom and on the on the sides, um, so putting that on there kind of covered up any imperfections. And then I put this little swag um, trim on here. I didn't want to make it too bulky. I didn't want to take away from the design on the front. And then I ordered ordered. Bleh, can't talk today. I added some gold trim. <laughs> I haven't decided how to put. Uh, I need to put some kind of um, ball or something to. Um, so that she can grab it and open it up. On the inside, I did the, the inside as well. I mean, she could prop this up and enjoy the front, or she can prop it up and enjoy the top. Either way, she'll be able to enjoy, enjoy it both ways. Um, uh, same thing, I used the paper. I just went a little different route with it. It has a little rusted color in here. I wanted to add some color. I had these uh, clear stickers. Um, from years ago and I, I they kind of remind me of like a, a suitcase you know where a traveling suitcase and you had back in the day they they would um, get a sticker from wherever they were and they'd stick it on their suitcase or I think maybe it was like a, when you traveled on a train and where they would stick it on there so that they would I don't know if anybody knows why they did that back then let me know I just thought I think it's really cool how they um, the suitcases were done that way back then. So that was kind of my idea with that. You know, I, I did another flower and I added um, some little, uh, some lace um, flower to this one. Another clock from Bow Bunny. And then some stickers, more of the trim. I did add some bling. The, um, I noticed that uh, my Michaels is carrying um, this liquid pearls now in platinum pearl. I just loved it. I had to get it. Use my coupon. And I added a little dots here and there to give it a little bling. I gave her a necklace. Um, the inside, like I said, I wanted it to look like um, like it could be a traveling box. And I put little postcards, a pen, um, a suitcase, post passport, clock, and a little map. But that's my um, my version of a, ci a cigar box. I just wanted to share that with everyone. Um, some of the ladies on there, like I said, are doing uh, a lot of different ways. Their buy-in box is already um, decorated and just altering them, which is cool. I like that, too. Um, I, might, I might try that this time myself. But I just wanted to share with you um, how I construct the um, cigar boxes and a couple of things I've been working on. Like I said, don't be afraid to get one and, and just tear it up and alter. I know it's a lot more work, um, but I tell you what it is just so worth it and it's cheaper than buying the ones at um, Michaels or Hobby Lobby they're they're pretty good size I mean you can still fit a lot in here and I will probably put extra in my package as well I always do okay thanks for watching and um, have a great afternoon bye now